channel Knowledge Star, Continuous Knowledge Excellence. My name is Nisha Masroor. In this video, we will get to know about the chitin and chitosin. Now, our expert Dr. Neelu Navani, Professor and in charge of Microbial Diversity Research Center, PhD Coordinator, will explain you in detail about this topic. So, to get complete information, watch full video without skip. So, let's look at the first treasure from the ocean, that's chitin. So chitin is obtained from crab shells and shrimps. So it's a linear polymer of an acetyl glucosamine. And this is a polysaccharide. Okay. So this is a sugar molecule. So this is an amino sugar and acetyl glucosamine, and they are linked together by beta 1 4 linkages. Now, if you look at the properties, it's a semi-crystalline one, it's hydrophobic. It doesn't dissolve in water, interestingly. But still. It doesn't dissolve in water, but still it is biocompatible. It is also biodegradable. Obviously, it is biological origin, so it is degradable. And the enzymes which will degrade would be chitinases. It's not toxic and it is not immunogenic. Now, marine environment is known for regeneration. Some marine animals, like if you look at zebrafish, if you look at salamanders, they have regenerative capacities. We lost all these regenerative capacities, right? Now, where did we lose this? We primarily have to have evolved from the ocean, perhaps. That's how the mermaid stories came into picture, right? Now, when you go to the land, you sort of loosen up. And loosen up on what? Loosen up on your regenerative capabilities. We do have some capacity because if we cut ourselves, uh, we also know how the body is healing that particular part. Wound healing, that is what we call it. But salamander, if you cut off a complete limb, it, the limb regrows as original. Now, this is something which we are looking at. And this is where the world is heading now. That is regenerative medicine. So we are using stem cells in the transplants. We are doing a lot of tissue engineering. Scaffolds are being made. And how to create artificial tissues, how to create artificial organs is what is going on in several laboratories of our country. So going back to chitin, chitin is a very important material for making scaffolds for tissue engineering purpose. And how do you extract it? So of course, it's available in the market. You don't have to, as a student, you don't need to extract. As a researcher, you don't need to extract it. You just buy it. Okay. But wait, wait, wait. Are you worried about your project, training, dissertation, internship? Don't think too much because Nanoscience and Technology Consortium, in short, NSTC, is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks. NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So just check it out right now. Let me tell you one thing. Chitin oligomers and chitosan oligomers, they have all the properties that are desirable. Okay, what are those? Those are, they can be used in contact lenses, bandages, in sutures and so on so they are antioxidants they are bioadhesives so you have sutures suture when the surgery is going on it seals you have glues surgical glue okay so surgical glue is just like your glue but the only difference is that you are using it during a surgery now all these materials which are there they are being made from chitin chitosan and these related marine polymers so it's of interest to also know that the chitin oligosaccharides are more expensive than your gold, platinum, and so on. Let me give you an example of a cost. A chitin pentamer and a chitin hexamer, 5 milligram will cost you 60,000 rupees. Okay, And it is very useful because it has anti-mutagenic effect, it has anti-cancer effect, it has immune enhancing effect. And these are the molecules which are now being explored. Now, if you have all these properties, but commercially, if you look at it, it is not practically possible to spend money for extraction because 5 milligram is costing 60,000. Now, if you want to sell this as a medicine, how is it going to work? 
nobody is going to buy it right so here there is a lot of potential for future entrepreneurs that how do you bring down the cost of the polymer that is so useful of its oligosaccharides which are so useful traditionally the extraction is done from the starting material which is these scraps and you can use chemical extraction biochemical extraction and so on so it would be first step would be treatment with alkali second step would be demineralization with the acids third step you don't want color in your final product because many crabs as you saw that we had red color crab so we don't want that color so those can be removed by using hydrogen peroxide or acetone or potassium permanganate and chitosan is made up of uh the basic of course is chitin but when you deacetylate chitin when you remove the acetyl groups from chitin you get chitosan and again this is a linear polymer linked with glycosidic bonds it's a modified form of chitin and these are the applications which you look at now if you look at the market it's almost 63 billion by 2024 us dollars 63 billion us dollars is the market by 2024 and it's because of the biomedical reasons that it can be used as a scaffold and already there are a lot of papers research papers which are available which will tell you that it has been used for the growth of mesenchymal stromal cells mscs so as i was talking it is having antimicrobial activity antioxidant activity anti inflammatory activity anti aging activity and so on and the companies which manufacture these are the list of companies which are mentioned over here uh, you can see that we have indian companies so matsafeed and isf kitin in both in kerala i think kerala is a place where um, most of these companies are located and they are doing a very good job hope you like the video here i would like to give you an important information that nano science and technology consortium or nstc organized the nano technology workshops on very interesting topics also i would like to tell you about the initiatives of nstc in which you can also be a part of like mentorship patent commercialization joint product development research projects consultancy services nano materials for your research projects training programs or customized training programs workshops or customized workshops so that's all if you want to see these type of videos then please to comment we will definitely reach out to you subscribe to the channel knowledge star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected